Scorpio, hi. So um, this is going to be a reading for September 28th through October 4th. And I'll uh, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now, let's see. <laughs> Bam. Uh, the overall energy for the reading, the Four of Pentacles. You might be hanging on to something here, a little too tight, which is telling me that you may be either resisting something or refusing to let something go out of fear. Um, in the recent past, you get the Queen of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. All right, this is a beginning towards um, starting to pretty much open yourself up for and, and standing up for what you believe in, what you think, what you feel, and things like that. This is a definite beginning in that direction for you opening up more towards you, you know, um, towards standing up for yourself. In the current situation, you get the Hermit, the Three of Swords, and the Six of Wands. Definitely a sense of overcoming something painful in your life. I feel like you're going through a period of a pause. You're going through a pause from the world, from everything. Kind of like I need this time for myself to to work through this pain that I'm dealing with. I feel like it's been waiting for you for a while to work with. But there's a sense of victory over it. <clears throat> of achieving, of overcoming this pain, actually. Uh, in the immediate future, you get the Page of Wands, the Sun, and the Justice. A very beautiful energy. You're opening up more and more to things that make you happy. And it's starting to show in your life. It's starting to balance your life off, pretty much. So, let's see. Let's um, clarify. Let me clarify the Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> Three cards of ending. Three. That's what you're hanging on to. The world, the death, and the Five of Pentacles. There's definitely an ending to a situation. There's definitely a walking away. Uh, you're hanging on to this energy. You're possibly creating this energy and you're pretty determined to do it. Wow, there's a strong sense on your part. Like, nope, I'm not, I'm not changing my mind on this one. Now, of course, that can happen. Even if you say that, it can still happen, so. But I'm not seeing that in here, but uh, let's see here. Let me see that Queen of Swords there in the recent past. Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Huh, this is a sense of somebody looking for happiness to be shared with somebody else, which is something normal, something. But I feel like this person, you already knew them uh, and you might have chased them. Well, not chase them down, chase chase this brand new beginning with them over and over again until you stop doing that. You stopped chasing this with them and possibly started looking for stability, happiness out there in the world. See where, it, where it's going to come from, pretty much. Let me see the Seven of Wands here in the recent past, because it does come with the sense of new there with that page of pentacles but let's see for the seven of wands you get the three of pentacles the fool and the two of pentacles ah you might have gotten yourself into a sticky situation here uh could have been a three-party situation where you took a chance on this but um turned out very confusing very all over the place here for you could be that for some of you. For others, it's just a partnership that you are like, yep, I'm doing this. I'm going in. 
and it still resulted in confusion. Um, let's see the Hermit in the current situation. Four of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Five of Swords. All right, so this connection that you've been dealing with, um, there's a sense of deception in it. There's a sense of illusions, possibly lies, possibly mind games. There's a sense of that going on in this commitment of yours with somebody. It could be on both sides, so it, it could come from the both of you. I see you thinking intensely about the deceptive parts, about the uh, places where you sabotage each other possibly you know um you're kind of going over those things right now let me clarify the three of swords in the current situation six of pentacles seven of pentacles the hierophant yeah attempts attempts to make this happen attempts to bring this Commitment, possibly a marriage for some of you, uh, attempts to bring this into some sort of balance. I feel like there were many attempts that failed because they're accompanied here by pain. Let me clarify the Six of Wands in the current situation. The Ten of Wands, the Star and the High Priestess. Yeah, you're starting to listen to your intuition more and more. And the more you do that, the more you realize what you do want. Which, I don't know what you, it is. It depends for each of you. But um, the more you listen to you, to your intuition, the more you figure it out. You know, what it is that you want. Um, not easy to do, especially during this time where you're actually contemplating a lot about the deceptive ways of the connection you've dealt with. But you're doing it. Um, let me clarify the page of wands in the immediate future. The moon, the two of wands, and the wheel. So, um, this is coming in a little bit as a pattern, pattern for you for some reason. Like, I don't have any cards to show me that. I'm just feeling that uh, we're you find something that interests you right something or someone i don't know Let, let's say you're finding a hobby right you're drawn to painting or whatever um there's the unknown about this hobby of yours that scares you that kind of takes you back a little bit kind of takes you into this place of procrastination even you know i'm just gonna stand back here and i'm gonna do it one day yeah um there's the unknown about it as i said like you don't know where it's gonna lead you you don't know if it's gonna lead you anywhere and you're thinking well what is this gonna do for me you know probably that's why you're just standing back and not really doing anything about things that you actually love things that you actually like and i see a change in that in that in that energy for you it's like hell i don't know where it's gonna take me but i'm gonna do it because it feels good you know um that's just switching up the the way you look at things a little bit um and that's gonna change the energy of it and i see you doing it let me clarify the sun in the immediate future. Ace of Wands, the Justice, and the Hangman again. Procrastination, stagnation, pretty much. You want for things to be restored in a situation. You want balance in a situation. Uh, you want happiness in a situation. You're not doing anything to get that. You know, uh, yes, you want all of those things. But that's it, you just want them. Um, I don't see any action. For that to happen you know or to get close at least to this goal let me clarify the justice card in the immediate future so much waiting is coming um i've gotten one two three cards of waiting in three different piles for for the immediate future um
You want to show up with love in a situation, you're not doing it because you've been hurt. That places you into this energy of waiting. Um, you want to restore something, but you're not doing it because who knows why. You got to have your reasons that place you into this place of stagnation. Um, you want to go for things that you enjoy doing, things or people that you enjoy doing. Yeah, well, yeah. well, you know what I mean. Um, you're not doing it because, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. All of these are fears that are holding you back. There's a lot of waiting coming up for you. I would suggest instead of actually placing yourself in this waiting, looking at the things that make you wait, which is usually insecurities, fears, something within you is like, for example, in this one, we're going to go back to painting, right? You want to get into pa painting. Um, the fear of not knowing what, what painting is going to bring in your life is holding you back. I don't know if it's painting, it could be anything, but you know what I mean, it's an example. Uh, look at that fear, right? Look at, look at it and then try to do it in a different way. Usually when something is repeating in your life, for the most part, the right thing to go about it would be to change something in that, right? Because I don't think it brought you any results if you keep repeating the same kind of mistakes. So try to be like, the hell with it. Why do I care if it's going to bring something or not? What should be important is that painting is making you feel good. And that's why you're doing it. Not what's going to bring, what it's going to bring you and things like that. So this is just an example. But for all of these things, because I see a lot of waiting coming in for you. And I don't think you want that. I don't think you want that. Um, let's... Um, Let's see what the universe has. <laughs> Some more waiting, why not? A little bit of patience here. The Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Temperance card. This is a single kind of energy. I feel like you're waiting for love, to be honest with you, and it's gonna come, but you have to be patient. Um, Cause you have to get yourself in this energy first to be stable within yourself and emotionally balanced and all of that. And yeah, it's a struggle, but when you get to that place, that's when love is coming in. But again, you gotta go through all of these fears first that are holding you back. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.